Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. It is that time of the month again. It's a Korean skincare haul. I love, love, love filming these videos for you. A, because I get to try out loads of new products that are totally different to the ones that I normally have in my skincare routine. And also because I know so many of you out there are absolute hardcore fans for Korean skincare. So I worked again this month with Stylevana, which are a fantastic online resource for Korean and Asian, wider Asian beauty, fashion, um, and of course, skincare. Um, I've worked with them on quite a few different videos and they're so so lovely. They send me a selection of products that I then try and give an honest review for you guys. It's kind of like win-win because I get to try these new products and hopefully some of them work out for me and I can share the very best with you. So if you want to learn a little bit more about some Korean skincare and some maybe some brands that might be new to you, keep on watching. So I've got six products here that I'm going to break down and try for you. I'm going to do demonstrations, we'll talk about the pros and the cons, and which I think actually deserve a place in your skincare routine. Now all these products are cruelty free. Here on the channel we aim to be entirely cruelty free in the recommendations and things that I try. And so I did just want to call that out and thank you to Salvana for selecting me a range of products which are cruelty free. That's really appreciated. Let's get straight on into it. And in the spirit of positivity I'm going to talk about my favourite product first. And that is this. This is from um, Isntree which is the Spot Saver Mug mugwort ampule. Now I haven't actually tried mugwort really at all in my skincare. I just don't like the name. You know I really think they could have come up with a better name than that and um, if they want to sell it. It's not attractive. It's not a sexy name. People don't want to reach for mugwort. However I feel like I've kind of been missing out because lots of you guys have been saying try more mugwort based products and so I was really intrigued when I got this and tried it. So this claims to be soothing but also help to you know dial down any redness and inflammation in the skin. In keeping with a lot of Korean skincare it's all about the gentle approach and having the skin in balance, no irritation, no inflammation and I can kind of get on board with that. Judging by the ingredients I was really really impressed with this. So not only have you got a huge amount of mugwort, it's over 80% and I love that. You know if you're going to buy a product for an ingredient. I kind of want it to be at its max and this definitely is. You've also got allantonin in there which is going to be calming and soothing to the skin and you've got licorice extract. I love licorice root. It's so good for balancing the skin but also will even out any pigmentation issues that you have. It's one of nature's ways of brightening the skin, bringing back luminosity and helping even out our skin tone. So totally on board. Then I tried it. I love it. A, the packaging for the price point. This looks so, it's really heavy. It looks so bougie, so luxury. You get that on your vanity and people will gag when they go into your bathroom like, oh, this person has class, they have taste, it's sophisticated. I love the packaging. I really liked the amount of products you get for it for the price. I think it's really good. And the dropper is so nice. We're kind of all used to these sort of pipette style products now, but actually there's a big difference between a good pipette and a bad one. This is a good one and um, I just love it. I tend to go a little bit overboard with this product. I put quite a lot on, but I think it's one of those products that you can use a lot if you need to. Um, if I drop it onto the skin, it's like a gel serum. Four drops does the whole face and oh, it sinks in so well. Disappears after about 10 seconds. That's pretty much gone. It's unfragranced and I'd say there's a very light scent to it, but it's nothing unpleasant. It's just very natural and earthy, which is fine. A lot of people like that on fragrance-free skincare options. This is a great option. I am totally, totally impressed with this. If you, what I think this would be really great is if you do like a weekly exfoliation, like say you use like the ordinary peeling solution once a week, which is quite a high strength peel exfoliation. Afterwards, putting this on will just calm everything, soothe it, bring some tranquility back to the skin. I think it's a really great option. Also going to be great for people that may be introducing a retinol to their routine and want some to offset some of the sensitivity and the dryness. This could really work. And yeah, I am sold on Mugwort. Change the name, guys, because I think, you know, could be a little bit better. But oh, as an ingredient, really, really good. Super impressed with this. 10 out of 10. Ding, ding, ding. Now, I was going to save this product to last because I say it's the least exciting. It's the least interesting of them. But I said I'd go in the order of my preference and ones I really enjoyed. So I'm going to call it out now. This is Beauty by Yozen, which I did try in my last Korean haul, which I'll leave up there if you want to check that out, and loved. And so Style Vanna, like, threw this in as an X because they said you love the brand, why not try this? This is their Centella Asiatica Calming Mask. These, I got a couple of these and oh, they are so good. A, it's a sheet mask that's very generous. I've talked before about my big face. Guys, it's really hard to wear a sheet mask um, because and even if you just got a larger face, you know, I don't think we should judge people. I love my big face, but it can be really hard to fit a sheet mask on it. So this is a really, really nice option. You get a lot of product. In fact, I've actually, what I actually did, and I don't know whether you should do this, but this is what I did, is after I opened it, used it, worked the serum in after I took it off, and then I folded it over and put a peg, keep it in the fridge, and the next day I used 
There's so much product still in here and I used it as a treatment serum. So I kind of got two days worth out of one. So, so good. If you're gonna do that, keep it in the fridge, but really nice. Centellia Asiatica, calming, soothing, all of the good stuff and I absolutely loved it. So yeah, this is super affordable, super effective. I love Beauty by Yozen, one of my favorite Korean brands. And I think it's kind of suitable for everyone's skin type. So not the most exciting product, just a sheet mask, but it worked really well, so I'm calling it out. Now, I guess keeping with the Centella Asiatica vibe, which often finds its way into Korean skincare, this is Be Plain Sickerful Ampule. Ampule, I always think it's like a posh, bougie, bougie word of saying just a serum, just a serum in a dropper. I know people do tend to refer to Ampule. It kind of gives the impression you're getting more. And actually, in this case, you're getting a lot for the product. Um, I like the Be Plain. It's very plain. This is about as plain a packaging as you can get. You can barely actually read the lettering on it, but it looks really nice. It looks medical. It looks great on the vanity. And I really like how a lot of Korean um, brands I think have stepped up their packaging game recently. We're getting more recyclable stuff which is great. This packaging, all the um, outer carton fully recyclable which I love and um, this will be as well. I just think it's a really really nice looking product but there's no point having nice looking if it doesn't work, but this actually did. I love this. So it's made, majority of it is Centella Asiatica, which again, calming and soothing. But they've got some um, ferments in here. So ferments can be really good at tackling um, hyperpigmentation. They can be really great at tackling um, any inflammation that you've got in your skin and also be hydrating. So I really like that. Um, I found it super hydrating. I'll give you a quick drop on my um, hand. I found this to be, it's a little bit thicker. In fact, it's a fair bit thicker um, than the one that I mentioned earlier by Isn't Tree but it goes onto the skin in a similar way and just sinks straight in. Now I'll put that on and you can see, yeah, that sunk straight in and it gives that instant hydration. I'd say if I was going to use this, I think it's a really great product to use as a buffer. So if you're using an exfoliating acid and you want peptides in the same routine, so you need something to like separate the two products, this is a really great option. Calming, soothing, or add hydration. It'll even out the skin's pH and just work really nicely on the skin. I was super impressed. I'm going to try a few more things by Be Plain because I haven't actually tried any of their products by this. But yeah, it does what it says on the tin. It's plain, but it's hydrating. It's beneficial. It's going to add some real great benefit to your routine and it's going to balance out the skin at the same time. I think it's a really, really nice product. Now that was a brand that I haven't actually tried before, never heard of, never tried anything before. So it was a real like I don't need to be able to try one of their products. One that I have tried before, and I think you can see it behind me about there, is Make Prem. Their UD UV Defense Me Fluid total holy grail and I absolutely love it. One of my favorite SPFs. This is their um, Safe Me Relief Cream. It says it's only got 12 ingredients um, and so it's suitable for everybody and is gonna give instant relief and hydration. Now with this product, I love the packaging. I think it looks so cute. This top is really easy to open. I know that's a little thing, but having that ridge actually makes it so easy to open. So if you struggle like to twist off caps and stuff, this is a really great innovation. I wish more brands would do it. It looks great. It's balanced to the skin's pH. So it's a nice way to finish your routine to balance everything out to make sure the acid mantle is the correct pH for the rest of the day. So I think it's a really nice product. Um, the ingredients, hydrating, calming, soothing, all that good stuff. And in terms of the consistency of the product, it goes on as like, I'll just take a little off the cap there, it goes on as like a very light cream. It's not quite gel like the Blythe um, Press Serum, which you guys know I love. It's not that consistency, but it's also not super um, thick and occlusive either. I think it'd be a great summer moisturizer if you've got oily skin. Um, in the winter, you might want to put on a couple of layers if you want to get that added moisturization. Now, I would reach for this product time and time again. If it wasn't for one thing, it's got bergamot oil in. Now, my skin's fine with bergamot oil. Um, it doesn't, I don't find it triggering. It doesn't cause any sensitivity and it gives a very nice fragrance to the product. But I know a lot of people out there really, really don't like bergamot oil. Um, it is probably the most sensitizing of all like the essential oils that are out there. Some people say it can trigger hyperpigmentation. The science behind that is a bit on the sketchy side, so I wouldn't read too much into that, but it is out there. It's something you want to consider, particularly if that is your main skin concern. I just kind of wish they didn't have it in here. They've taken it out of their UV Defense Me fluid that I referenced earlier, a huge tick in the box, because I think that makes it more accessible to people. So I don't know why they've kept it in this. This will be a 10 out of 10 product and a great sort of summer moisturizer for almost all skin types if it wasn't for that bergamot oil. I, I'm gonna keep using it. I don't have an issue with bergamot oil and I like this. So I'm gonna keep using this product, but I will just call it out as something you might want to avoid if you are sensitive to bergamot oil itself.
Now, in a similar vein, um, in terms of the, the added oils, um, this is the Wonder Black Rice Facial Oil. You guys know I am loving, loving, loving facial oils at the moment. The one by Stratia that I've used so often is so good. I love my rosehip seed oil. So I'm kind of full circle. Hated them originally and thought wouldn't work with my oily skin. And now I'm a full full convert and fangirl when it comes to facial oils. This is the Wonder Black Rice Face Oil. Rice, calming, soothing, like oatmeal. It's just a great, great addition. And rice bran oil can be really, really beneficial. This, I just as a side note, I spent ages shaking because I thought it's actually um, like ombre packaging. I spent the whole time doing that thinking, oh, it's separated. It hasn't, that's just the packaging. It shouldn't have taken me that long to work that out. I love this. It's a really nice hydrating and calming facial oil. However, it's got a really nice scent to it. So I put it on, I used it for a couple of nights and thought, I'm loving this. I'm really liking that. What is that scent? I never knew rice smelled like that. It's got lavender oil in. Now, I don't mind lavender oil and I actually find it really therapeutic and calming on an evening near before you go to bed, putting this on just, I think it, it, for me, it works really well with like sleep patterns and I associate it with calming and soothing. So I really like it. But again, some people really hate lavender oil in products. So I'm gonna call that out because that'll be the deciding factor of whether you buy this or not. If you are wanting a super hydrating face oil and one that will calm, soothe and send you in that gorgeous, tranquil pre-bed state, this is the product for you. If you want to avoid lavender oil, Keep walking, nothing to see here because this just this just won't appeal to you. In terms of how it applies, um, I'd say it is a reasonably light oil. I was really impressed. I thought it would be thicker, and more um, harder to work in. It's a reasonably light oil and it's sunk into the skin quite nice. I think it's a great option if you want to do a facial massage. You need, that's two drops, which will go into the skin beautifully, it smells divine. Um, if you want to do facial massage, you're going to want to use a few more drops um, to make sure you've got that slipperiness to really do that. But such, such a good product. I love the packaging again. I think it was really nice. I just think it will all come down to whether this is right for you as to whether you want or don't want lavender oil in your routine. And in a way, I kind of wish they took it out because then everybody could enjoy it. What is a really beautiful and beneficial oil? So far, I'd say we're on to a pretty good run. In terms of all those products, I like them. Yes, some of them, if you want to avoid essential oils, won't be for you. But for everyone else, absolutely fine. So let me know, guys. What are you trying? What are you fangirling over Korean skincare-wise at the moment? Leave me a comment. Are you going to try any of these products? Have any of them, like, appealed to you? I definitely, definitely think that um, Mugwar Essence, really great option. That would be, like, my star performer of all of these. And that mask, that Beauty by Yozen mask is, ugh. So, so good. So let me know what your thoughts and feelings are below. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.